Hey, how's it going, guys? This is Steven from Steven Gaming TV, and today I'm gonna show you how to use and how to add player movement into your player sprites and active objects inside of Fusion 2.5. So, right now, let's go ahead and click on new project. Let's click on new to make a new project and double click on the thumbnail in order to take us into the frame editor. So, right now, we are inside of the frame editor. We're gonna double click on the canvas and check on active objects. As I said before, you probably don't have all of these icons right now because your version is probably the free version of Clicked Infusion 2.5 but you can just play along because I am sure that you have an active object whatever version of Clicked Infusion or Multimedia Fusion or Games Factory you have. So right now, let's double click on our active and make a nice new sprite image for our player. Um, let us make it as a rounded person then add some colors then add some text let's say um something like hero and i don't know where did i get this habit of drawing text inside of my sprites but again i like doing that so you don't have to follow along but that's just what i really do and we are going to rename this thing player i already taught you how to do that earlier ago but you can you can go and access it inside of this properties uh, toolbar and, and inside of the name uh, properties you can rename your object so right now if you want to add a player movement all you have to do is click on your player then go to the movement tab in the properties bar select one movement that you like in all of this list so right now non-physical movements is what you really need and physical movements is if you want to make some uh, advanced physical game stuff right now let's just select eight directions and for now let's go into the event editor before we do anything else let's go into the event editor by clicking on here at the top then clicking on new condition then clicking on the player and say position test position of player click on all of the arrows that are pointing outside but are still outside uh, inside of the frame area then click on ok and say right click on your player and say movement stop what this does is if we preview our frame right here remember that we added a player movement already we added the eight directions movement up here so if we preview this application and we move to the very left or very right of our frame you can see that the player stops when it hits the end of the frame so that's what this event does again i'm gonna recap this if he leaves the play area it's gonna stop the movement and to do that you are just going to check that in the position position condition right now we have the eight directions movement again if you want to access that you select your player and go into the movement tab and select eight directions into the movement type right here there are many movement types so we can just select bouncing ball this time for bouncing ball if you want the if you want the player to bounce around the frame right here right now it stops when it hits the end of the frame because it told him to stop right now if you want it to bounce you're just going to movement and bounce uh, after you do that it bounces around the frame when it hits the end of the frame but we don't really want that because we are also going to put some other movements to our player so right now here is our player and we are going to select platform so need I say that every movement has its own set of properties it's a, it has an initial value an initial direction value that you can set for example it looks to the right over here and you can try the movement over here but i recommend it uh, i recommend you that you try it inside of your frame uh playback and there is the speed let's just make the speed 30 and acceleration 80 i really hate it when object accelerate in a slow manner so i'm just gonna make this really high gravity let's make this only 20 and jump strength like 70 because i really like those games where the jump strength is very strong and the player doesn't look crippled so right now if you press shift it's jumping very high it's jumping around and there you have it uh, you can you can already call this a game actually you know you have a hero it's bouncing on, it's bouncing around the frame it's just like the old times of um game boy and 
medicine yes and stuff like that so thank you for watching like the video if you liked it dislike the video if you disliked it subscribe if you want to i'm not forcing you and don't forget to watch the next set of videos because this, this teaching is not really stopping here i'm still teaching a lot of things and i'm still making a lot of videos if you don't see any videos go to the channel and check the playlist for the clicked infusion 2.5 beginners tutorial thank you